Alrighty. Oh, how's everybody doing today? Good, good. 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 That shirt's awesome. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> good lord. Wait, I see Star Wars. I see the Flash! Oh, I see the Rebel Alliance. Sweet. All right, right, right. Excellent, excellent. Everybody did outstanding today. Let's begin. So, what can you tell us? What do you want to know? Everything. 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 That we Everything. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, not much, unfortunately. Before, If we were having this conversation after the panel, yeah, good yes. lord. Yeah. Um, I will say this. Uh, the best thing that ever happened to The Flash Season 6 was being forced into uh, the crossover of Crisis. Because what it's done is it has informed the way the stories are being told this season. Because we're now we're breaking it up into three sections, right? It's pre-crisis, what's coming, the dread that's hanging over us, oh my goodness, is who's gonna die, who's gonna live, worlds will die and worlds will live, right, straight out of the comic book. Then there's crisis itself, who will die and who will live. <laughs> But we've been promising for five and a half years that crisis was kind of the end, 2024. Well, it's not the end anymore. There's no more roadmap. It's liberating, and I'm a very much a comic booky guy. So post crisis, this show just got more comic booky, man. I'm telling you. Uh, so I would say look for the crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun, and uh, I think also this season, um, again, the emotions of the characters. We have great, great characters that we've uh, explored for over five seasons, but sometimes I think we have opportunities to dig deeper. One of my mandates for this year was dig as deeply as possible. It's what I'm telling the writing staff. You know, bring out your own personal baggage. Bring out the uh, characters' their own personal baggage and really go to town. And I think it's created a, a very intense season, but also a, a funnier one, a sadder one. All the emotions I think this year are a little bit more heightened. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as the new showrunner executive producer, what's the, the new flavor that you're adding? What's your, what's your flavor <laughs> on this <season? laughs> I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> uh, not only am I a comic booky guy, so you'll see more comic book uh, conventions and twists and things like that, I also, um, I'm calling this the season of chills and thrills, Ooh. you know, because I like a chill, right, down your spine, but I also like wild adventure. I like the fantastic. I read too much Jack Kirby as a kid, so <laughs> it's going to get weird, especially in the post-crisis world in the back half. Strange, strange things will happen uh, that I hope the audience enjoys, because there is no roadmap anymore. We don't have to drive towards crisis, so let's just drive, right? Yeah. So coming back to the crossover, we know that in the comics, mm -hmm. it's very dice. Yes. You're trying. Yes. We're trying to do that yeah. because I'm very oh. worried about that. So the show is called The Flash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give away a spoiler, but I'm pretty sure no. that Grant's not leaving the show. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have this crazy notion. If, if somebody knows something different, please tell me, <laughs> because I would like to know this. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean that we don't take a lot of the great story twists and conventions from the comic book, turn them on their head a little bit, and it doesn't mean that Barry's going to have a walk in the park in crisis, because, ooh. He's going to have a bad time in crisis, a very bad time, but even more so after crisis. That's what's the interesting part is we are planning what's happening after the crossover. We find ourselves opening up more and more crazy doors to deepen the drama, deepen the character emotions, and really put them through hell because it makes for great stories. So you can say that the crossover will change the show, it will change the show. Slightly. Yes, I think I think that's a very accurate statement. Yeah, but I, I think it'll only let's not say change the show. I think the crisis post world opens up the show. Yes. Last season. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Thank you.